to kind of update you on what's going on with the GLs. Uh, that one's all ready to be, for the motor to be pulled out. Uh, basically, it's just sitting in there with uh, four or five bolts, and that subframe is just sitting there. It's not actually attached to anything. Um, so I could just slide that out whenever. Uh, this one's almost done. I just got the circ clip to pull off of here. Um, so for whatever reason, Honda thought it'd be a good idea to put a circ clip here in this drive shaft. I got it off on this one. Uh, but it took a lot of effort. So I've tried two different tools. This one, the tips are just a little too small, so they pop out. These are the perfect size tips, but this is kind of a crappy, um, circlip player puller. So, uh, I'm going to keep playing with it. I'll get it eventually. Even if I have to distort it like I did that one, I'll just put a new one on there. It's not a big deal. Um, and then... You just have to find some way to you just have to find some way to hold this boot back i don't know what honda was thinking there uh, you know and it's not as if this drive shaft's going to slide out so i don't even know why that circ clip is there maybe it was a requirement of um, you know governmental requirement or something but anyway it's almost ready to be pulled too um basically it's being held on by about eight bolts but they're all loose on there so we could pull this at any point uh, I think I'll probably replace the timing belts. They look okay, but they've on, they've been on there for a while. So while I have it out and while I have the covers off, I'm going to replace them. I've ordered the stator so I can put the stator on there um, when, it, when it comes out. Because uh, this is the stator right here. And it's going to be too difficult to... You, you, you have to pull the motor in order to change this out. Because this has to come all the way back to here to slide out right but this is the only thing once you replace this everything else even the clutches on the other side can be replaced with the motor in with very little effort so i'm going to do that and then uh once i get the motor swapped and i've got a couple of guys going to help me with that um i'm going to clean this up uh i still haven't decided if i'm putting the fairing back on i have the headlight bucket and everything i need there so I might just need to uh, I might just need to uh, put it on here and try it without the fairing. I don't know yet. I'm still kind of back and forth on that, but um, I'm gonna clean up the frame, get it you know looking good. I'm gonna replace the gas tank. I've got the one from that bike sitting over there. It's in good shape. Um, this one has had gas in it, still has gas in it. That's been sitting for, you know, who knows how long. So uh, I'm just going to take the back tire off and swap them around. It only takes a few minutes. And um, then I'll clean this one out and post it on eBay when I sell the other stuff or something. Um, the motor is going to go to a, a aluminum scrapper and, uh, you know, get what I can for that. And then the frame I'll sell, that frame, the 81, I'll sell because um, it has a title. So... Uh, and it'll have the tires. Um, the fender is going to my buddy Johnny in uh, Copenhagen once I get it off. Uh, I'm sorry, bud, I've just been too busy to take it off, but uh, it'll be coming off. And it has these studs on here, these like spikes. They unscrew, but um, I'm going to leave them with the fender. You can take them off if you want, obviously, but you know, just FYI. Uh, these turn signals are kind of wonky, so. I have to fix that. That's not a big deal, but if I, again, if I go without the fairing, fairing's over there. If I do use the fairing, uh, I'm, I'm going to replace this stereo with a newer one, maybe a Blaupunk. Um, the one uh, uh, Doug from uh, Doug's workbench, electronic workbench, um, he, uh, he was just doing a, a Blaupunk. And uh, I kind of like it. And it would leave room back here for a nice um, amplifier because and I want to replace the speakers. But um, a good amplifier just so I can get some decent sound when I'm cruising down the road. Again, not a big deal, but I, I would want to do that. And regardless, um, once I get it running, I'm going to ride it for a while. Uh, and then I'm going to um, repaint the fenders the tank, well the fake tank, and those bags I'm going to use, those are brown, 
everything else on here is black. The pinstriping is fake, right? So it's just like a decal. So that's coming off. But that's next winter. Next winter, I'll I'll tear this uh, the body work off and repaint it. Um, the the fairing will be the tough one if I wind up painting. If I wind up using that, then I'm going to have to repaint it, and that's going to be a bear. But that's again next winter. I'm not overly concerned about it right now. Uh, I've ordered some other parts too that I'm going to need. <clears throat> uh, the one thing I haven't ordered that I'm going to need, these brakes, while they look good, are all glazed over. So I'm just going to swap them out for new ones. And uh, clean up the rotors, get those turned down a little bit. Uh, same with the back, back brakes. Um, but overall, that's about it. This is going because this is just rusted and crap. I don't know what they were thinking on that um one thing i might carry over be i'm not real thrilled with it is the chrome piece here but it looks better than that piece which is uh kind of faded and weather worn so uh i don't know i'm thinking about it just some things i'm thinking about anyway bottom line is uh it shouldn't be too much longer and i'll be pulling that motor and swapping getting it over i feel like by june mid-june end of june that bike should be on the road and running so fingers crossed that all goes well right now my garage is full of shed stuff i got a shed it was a uh, just under a thousand dollars and i'm having somebody put it up because of my back i just don't want to be you know it's the peak of the roof is like nine feet and uh, my ankle still bothers me from my fall last fall <laughs> um so i hired somebody they're going to put it up but it's going to be thirteen hundred dollars so we're already twice the cut you know so now i'm the thousand dollar shed is now two thousand and then it was a hundred dollars for the permit yeah yeah believe it or not i gotta have a permit for the uh, for the shed go figure that uh again the shed came didn't come with the floor or the shingles which i didn't know so what I wound up doing was getting those separately, but that's marine grade um, outdoor plywood and um, just normal shingles. And again, that added another $300. I think the total cost was with the screws and everything. That was like $300 for all that. It's ridiculous. I don't, you know, I just wanted a place to store stuff. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get back to work. I just decided to take a break and... Uh, figure out uh my next steps on here and that's that circlip and then after that um all the bolts are loose it's just a matter of getting some guys out here to help me swap them um but it's going to take a little while for the stator to get here so first things first yeah. uh so i got to get back to uh looking some stuff up i just thought i'd update see where we're at um these are the 81 carbs these are the 83 carbs i'm just going to clean these up with some uh carb cleaner Take the bowls off and see if they're not in bad shape i'm gonna go with these um there's like i said before there's slightly better carbs than these and the ports are smoother inside than these so uh however i know these work and i know they run so um worst case i'll just take the bowls off of here and the tops and clean, give them a good cleaning with carb spray and call it good i do not want to take all this bracketry off if i can avoid it so um I might save a detailed carb cleaning for next winter um, and just I'll have Jeff do it um, it's expensive to have somebody else do it but even Jeff but um, uh, be worth it because uh, this is maybe more than I want to tackle on these carbs so anyway I am rambling again so uh, we'll call this good and um, have a good week, and hopefully I'll be back shortly with uh, another update.